What's going on sixpackabs.com? It's Thomas DeLauer, the internet's leading fasting expert. And today I wanna to break down something that has been coming up a lot. Uh, in light of the science-based six-pack fasting program that was released, there have been a lot of questions about how you can get through a fast a little bit easier and some of the things that you can do to further enhance the effects of your fast or if you're doing the science-based six-pack program, what you can do to enhance that. So let's talk about three herbs that you can use during your fasting period that are gonna help you out a little bit. First one I wanna talk about is ashwagandha. Now, if you've watched my other videos on this channel, you know that I'm a big proponent of ashwagandha, and the reason is because it's what's known as an adaptogenic herb. What that does in the body is it helps you find homeostasis. It helps your hormones balance out. The whole idea of an adaptogenic herb in the first place is to help your body modulate. It's gonna bring down hormones that need to be brought down, and it's gonna bring up hormones that need to be brought up. When you are fasting, you throw things awry. Things go a little bit crazy in your body. So using adaptogenic herbs or things like ashwagandha can help balance that out so you feel a little bit more normal while you're fasting. Now, I wanna reference one particular study that talks about this because I feel like it makes a lot of sense and it will pertain to fasting. So there's a 60-day study that took a look at patients that suffer with anxiety. Half the group they gave ashwagandha to and half the group they gave a placebo to. Well, those that took the ashwagandha had 69% less reported symptoms of anxiety than the placebo group. Well, what does this have to do with fasting? Well, when we're fasting, we have an increase in what are called catecholamines. We have an increase in norepinephrine, epinephrine, adrenaline. All these are things that can make you feel anxious and feel a little bit shaky sometimes, especially when you're just starting out. So ashwagandha is a proven way to reduce that a little bit and thereby help balance some of that norepinephrine and adrenaline out a little bit. Now, ashwagandha does another thing though. It also helps with focus. Now, if you've seen my videos talking about the benefits of fasting when it comes to brain performance and focus, then you know that fasting has a profound effect when it comes to getting a little bit more focused anyway. But ashwagandha can enhance that even more. You see, there were even some studies that took a look at rats that had illnesses that were affecting what's called spatial awareness. So they had spatial impairment, so spatial memory impairment, meaning they weren't able to access certain parts of their brain that particularly had to do with memory. Now, memory and focus go hand in hand. So if you were to take ashwagandha, like in this study, they found the rats that took ashwagandha had significant improvements in their spatial awareness. What does this mean for you as a faster? It means that you're gonna have more focus and it means that you're going to be able to have a lot more memory and be able to enhance the benefits of the fast as is. Now, when you're fasting, your body is utilizing what's known as beta-hydroxybutyrate as a predominant fuel source, which can cross through the blood-brain barrier and give you great mental performance as is. But when you factor in the balancing act of ashwagandha, then you really get hyper-focused. So it's a great additive to fasting if you're trying to boost your mental performance a little bit, or if you work in a job where you actually have to focus and can't just slack off all day. The next herb that I wanna talk about is rhodiola rosea. Rhodiola rosea is very similar to ashwagandha, but also quite different. It's similar in the sense that it is an adaptogenic herb as well. It's gonna balance out quite a few things, but there's some other components of rhodiola rosea that make it so unique to fasting. It can actually help increase your effect of fat burning during a fast because it contains something known as rosavin. And what this rosavin does in the body is it helps stimulate the production of what is called hormone-sensitive lipase. Hormone-sensitive lipase is the enzyme that is secreted when you get into a fat burning state, when your body starts deriving the adipose tissue into fatty acids to be utilized as a source of fuel. Now, there was one study that was done at Georgian State Hospital that took a look at 130 overweight patients, and they gave half of the group rhodiola rosea, and the other half of the group they gave a placebo to. Well, the rhodiola rosea group ended up having an 11% decrease in fat over the placebo group. That rhodiola rosea is pretty powerful for just being an adaptogenic herb. And when you sprinkle it into the effects of fasting, you get a nice exacerbated fat burning effect. But rhodiola rosea does some other things that are gonna help you out in more ways than just burning fat. So you can help your performance too. Rhodiola rosea helps increase the oxygen carrying capacity of certain cells. What that means is you can now carry more oxygen to the mitochondria, you can carry more oxygen to the cell, thereby creating more energy, which is going to be a big benefit when you're fasting. If you're gonna work out fasted, you want that extra oxygen, you want that extra energy. The last herb is kind of a no-brainer. That's why I saved it for last. It's good old-fashioned green tea extract. You can get it by drinking some green tea, or you can flat out take a green tea supplement. But the epigallocatechin-3-galate, or EGCG, promotes the production of something known as cholecystokinin. 
which is an appetite suppressing hormone. It's produced by the body to keep you from getting hungry. It's a response when you've already eaten food. So that's gonna help you out when you're fasting because the cravings are gonna go away. That's just a big thing right then and there. But EGCG is also gonna stimulate what's called thermogenesis. By producing more epinephrine and norepinephrine, you are now in a position where your body is elevating its core body temperature, thereby burning fat more. But green tea has the ability to help certain enzymes cross through the blood-brain barrier and give you mental focus as well. Now, these are just three herbs that I recommend. There's all kinds of things that I recommend, but if I had to isolate them into three productive herbs that won't break your fast, this would be them. And just to recap, we've got ashwagandha, we've got rhodiola rosea, and we've got good old-fashioned green tea. So as always, make sure you keep it locked in here on Six Pack Abs to learn a lot more about fasting. And as always, you can see my program below in the description. Feel free to check it out. I will see you in the next video.